Okay, so here is the Unit 5 review, page 1. All right. Uh, given the similarity, or given the picture below, are the two triangles similar? What we need to do is we need to label the diagram with what we are given um, and then what we can prove. So here I know that this angle is congruent to that angle because they're vertical. And then I can mark either B and C congruent or A and D congruent because of the parallel line markers right here. Uh, we know that these are congruent because they are alternate interior angles. And once I have those two, that's enough for me to say that triangle ABE is similar. And if I go from A to B to E, then I have to go from D to C to E because I have to use the corresponding parts. So there's my two triangles similar. It asks me for the theorem or postulate that proves it, and that is angle, angle. And that's it. Let's take a look at number two. Are the two parallelograms similar? Well, first I'm going to label these as parallelograms. I can do that by uh, marking the sides parallel. Um, that's important. For this, it's also important to understand that opposite sides are congruent. I know that because I graduated middle school. Um, so here we go with the two parallelograms being similar. We want to check to see if the sides are proportional. So I'm going to take the smaller side and the larger side of that one and set that equal to the smaller side and larger side of this one. I know some of you are like, well here you did the top one and here you did the bottom one, but that's because we, we pair the sides by length, by, by size. So if this is smaller, then I'm going to compare it to the smaller one, and if this is larger, I'm going to compare it to the larger. When we reduce both of those, we get one-sixth. They both equal one-sixth, so now I know they are similar. So I'm going to say A, B, C, D is similar. And if I go from A to B, then I need to go from E to F. So E, F, G, H. And then it asks me for the similarity ratio. That's this. From A, B, C to E, F, G, H is 1 to 6. Uh, if your teacher wants that as a scale factor, the scale factor of that would be 6, because it's 6 times as big. The second one gives me a bunch of words, but no drawing. So I'm going to create the drawing myself. So I have triangle ABC, where AB is 4 inches, BC is 7 inches, and the measure of angle B is 40. Then I have triangle XYZ, where XY is 10, YZ is 17.5, and Z is 40. These two triangles are not similar because the corresponding angles aren't in between the corresponding sides. So this is not similar. And it says, if not, explain why not. So I'm going to say the corresponding parts don't match up. I want to make sure that I put an explanation there, because if it says to explain, then that's going to be part of the answer when my teacher is grading it. Number four asks, which, which triangles are similar to triangle ABC? Because it has S in parentheses, that means that it could be one or it could be both. So I'm going to check them both. If I look at the small, I'm going to compare small to small, medium to medium, and large to large. So the small side of this triangle, of the given triangle, is 5. The small side of choice A is 15. So 15 is 3 times A, so I'm going to check to see if the same ratio exists for the other two sides. So 12 times 3 is 36, 13 times 3 is 39, so those two are similar. I'm going to go ahead and check the second one also because of the way the question is worded. Here, the small side is 2.5, well that's half of 5. 6 is half of 12, and 6.5 is half of 13, so that one is similar also. So in this case, they both are. Congratulations, you just did page 1.